Georgia FBLA Middle Level members. I'm Tharuni, your Georgia FBLA North Metro Area Vice President for this year. Welcome to the Middle Level Experience Workshop. We're so glad to have you all be a part of our amazing organization so early. And although this year looks a little different, we hope you will enjoy every opportunity we provide and have fun with it all. As middle schoolers, there are a lot of chances for you to develop and improve your personal skill sets. So take advantage of every opportunity you get. As I mentioned, I'm Tharini. I'm the North Metro Area Vice President, which means I help some of our largest regions in the Metro Atlanta area provide the best experiences for our middle level and high school members. This is my seventh year in FBLA. I joined FBLA in sixth grade and I've stuck with it ever since. My favorite parts of conferences are networking and exploring the conference center. And in my free time, you can find me listening to music or drawing. As a middle level member, you will need to work closely with your advisor to help you stay involved in the organization. But there are many ways you can take initiative and get the most out of your middle school experience. The high school experience in FBLA will get a lot easier if you have fun as a middle level member and take advantage of all the opportunities. The three biggest ways for you get to get involved as a middle level member are competitive events, conferences, and recognition. As a past middle level member, I made sure to attend every conference and compete as much as I could, and it paid off when I entered high school. I was able to be recognized for my commitment to competitive event success and my volunteer service in the community. I will dive deep into each of these throughout the workshop, so if you want to take some notes, have a paper and pencil handy. Feel free to pause at any time during this video and take a break if you need to. There's a lot of information, but I hope you are able to learn something new. Now let's get started with the middle level experience. Competitive events are one of the biggest parts of FBLA. For middle level members, there are over 25 competitive events open to grade levels five through eight. You can compete in up to two region events and two state events. There are three types of events you can compete in, individual, team, and chapter. Individual events are single member events and only one person will compete in it. For team events, you can have up to three members and chapter events involve your entire chapter in the process, but only one to three members can actually compete or receive recognition for the event. There are four styles of events, testing, skills, performance, and submission. I will expand upon every style later on. The end goal for competitive events is not only to stand on the state or national stage, but to increase your business and technical knowledge. But to do that, you have to first start at the region level, advance to state, and then to nationals. Or you can compete in a straight to state event and qualify to nationals. But make sure to keep in mind that not all events qualify to the national level. So it's okay to compete in an event that gets recognized at the state level. This is a reference guide to all the competitive events. The guide shows which events are individual, team, or chapter events, as well as whether an event is a submission, testing, or performance event. The events highlighted in yellow are events that start at the region level. By now, you should have already registered for these events. The region level competitive events take place in late November through December. Ask your advisor for more information on when and how you will be testing. If you qualify in one or both of your region testing events, you can compete at the state level in the same events. If you qualify for one event but not the other, or you don't qualify for either of your region events, you have the option of choosing up to two straight to state events. The straight to state events are in white. You will compete in these events in early February. Now to compete in nationals, not all of the events qualify. The events marked with a blue box in the final column qualify for national level competition and recognition. If you aim to compete at the national level, then you can choose one of these events. If you are a returning middle level member, you might notice that some events can no longer be found or some events are new. There are two new events, mobile app design and video game design. Both events are straight to state team events. You might notice that if you competed in parliamentary procedures concepts, that is no longer an event. But fear not, the con concepts from that event have been merged with the FBLA concepts event. 
Up to 20% of the FBLA concepts exam may now include basic parliamentary procedure concepts. If you see an event that you are interested in, make sure to check out the topics for the event. These vary from year to year. These are the current topics for the 2020-2021 competitive events. Elevator speech, mobile app design, multimedia and website development, video game design, and video public service announcement all require topics that competitors must follow to receive credit. Make sure all your submissions are relevant to the topic. Now that we've seen how competitive events work, how do you pick the best events for you? This is challenging if you want to try everything or you have no idea what you like. There's a very easy way to find out the best events for you, and that's by using the competitive event flowchart. The competitive event flowchart is one of the most useful tools when picking an event to compete in. We start with the question, do you feel comfortable speaking in front of a small audience? The flowchart leads you through questions about your interests and your eagerness to present to help you narrow down a type of event. For example, I love to talk in front of an audience, but I don't necessarily want to work with a team. So I would be more likely to choose speaking events that allow me to showcase my individual talents. However, if you are not a fan of speaking, then you can do testing events or skills and submission events that showcase your talent. And at the end of the day, competitive events are a learning opportunity for you. So explore and try any event you want to. Once you've narrowed your events down, make sure to refer back to the guide and know which events are region, state, and national qualifying events. This guide is super beneficial to understanding the types and styles of events. If you've decided that you're participating in a testing event, then you will take a 50 question test in 30 minutes during the testing window. If you're doing a performance event, you will have a presentation component. The timing and topics will vary from event to event, so make sure to look at the rubrics and topics for the events. If you're doing a skills event, then you will utilize a software and complete tasks depending on the event you're competing in. Lastly, the submission event requires you to submit a report or a pre-recorded video prior to the conference. For more information on how to complete and submit your projects, check with your advisor. Great, now we've picked our events and we know our topics, but how do you go about preparing for them? Well, there are three great resources you can use to start preparing the guidelines, the competencies, the rubric and topic assigned, and the internet the three main things that you need to be referring back to. Now, in order to find your guidelines and competencies, you need to access the Georgia FBLA website, georgiafbla.org slash competitive hyphen events. From there, you need to click on the middle level competitive events tab. You can click on any of the events that you find there and find a detailed report on the expectations and concepts of an event as well as the rubrics used to grade presentations or submissions. You will probably need to prepare a study guide of some sort using the competencies and make an outline of information that you think you should know for the test. Lastly, the internet is such an amazing resource. You can find practice tests and tests from other states just by searching up your event tests on Quizlet, Google, or any other source. The more resources you use to practice, the higher your chances of understanding the concepts and doing well. So make sure to remember these four things when you prepare for your events. We hope to see you all on the stage. To win in your competitions, you need conferences. And Georgia FBLA has the most fun and engaging conferences across any CTSO. The four major conferences we hold are Fall Rally, Fall Leadership, state leadership, and national leadership. Fall rally and fall leadership conferences turned into crew and fuel this year due to the pandemic. However, we hope our other conferences won't have to become virtual. Each conference presents an opportunity for our middle level members to network with state officers, other high school members, and alumni who have expertise and extensive experience serving the organization. Each conference has a unique vibe and presents a wide range of opportunities, including open testing events, workshops, and leadership development training tracks. As middle level members, you have the opportunity to explore every part of the conference before starting your high school journey through FBLA. 
I remember when I was in middle school, I attended every conference I could, but most especially the fall leadership conference. I remember connecting with other members during the leadership tracks and self-promoting our social media accounts. Through our crew Kahoot Zooms, members were able to do the same and follow each other on social media and start really amazing conversations. I know it's not the same as a virtual conf not the same as being in an in-person conference, but make sure to take advantage of every opportunity. You might be wondering, it seems like FBLA only has competitive events or conferences. It's no different from any other organization. But FBLA offers so much more than that. We offer recognition for our individual members. We want to see your involvement in the organization and have you be recognized for putting in that effort. By completing business and leadership oriented tasks, you can earn recognition for being an active member of FBLA. The Middle Level Lead Program is a unique leadership development program in which you, our middle level members, can complete various engaging activities. But how and why should you complete them? So the lead program has three levels, bronze, silver, and gold. Each level requires you to complete a different number of tasks in three different areas, service, education, and leadership. Now you can choose which of the projects you want to work on. And once you finish those projects, you can notify your advisor and show proof of your work. You will have to upload some of your work to Talo to receive credit. Talo is a website associated with National FBLA that allows them to award you your digital badge for completing each level. Your advisor can help you verify your work and help you submit your projects. For more information on the tasks for each level and how you can complete them, check out the national website, fbla-pbl.org slash middle level slash recognition dash awards slash lead. Here you can find the detailed requirements for each level as well as how to go about completing them. Now, why should you complete the lead program? It's just a digital badge, you might be thinking, but that digital badge opens you up to a world of opportunities. Through the completion of the levels, you gain extensive knowledge on the business industry as well as the organization as a whole. You will learn more about how to effectively network with other members in your chapter and volunteer in the state and national projects, ultimately improving your leadership and personal skill set. Additionally, when you are applying for officer positions in your middle level chapters, you can showcase how dedicated you are to being active in the organization. And if you plan on running for our middle level state officer positions, then this, you, this will give you a significant boost. It can help you keep track of your participation in community service projects and show your dedication to upholding all the values of FBLA. And additionally, you can be recognized on a national level for all your hard work. How cool is that? Aside from our individual recognitions and opportunities, there is a major recognition opportunity for your middle level chapter, chapter of the year. A big deal on the high school chapter level is being offered to the middle level chapters. Chapters need to complete a series of projects and assignments to showcase their involvement with Georgia FBLA throughout the year. And for doing so, you'll be awarded points. Our outstanding middle level chapters that rack up the most points will be recognized at the State Leadership Conference in February. So this is the first page of the Chapter of the Year form. It might look a little different now if your chapter participated in this event last year. There has been a little reformatting in terms of points and projects, so make sure you know what is expected. Each type of activity is worth a different amount of points, and maxing out the points in each category can help your chapter be more likely to win the title of Chapter of the Year. If you are interested in participating, let your chapter advisor know and find out how you can get involved. Middle Level FBLA is all about taking initiative, and this is a perfect opportunity to show your abilities to lead your entire chapter to success. If you are an officer, work with your advisor and officer team to see how you can delegate the work and complete assignments before the deadlines. If you've already started on assignments and need to submit activities, or you just need to view the form as a PDF, you can scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen. Aside from recognition for your chapter, completing chapter of the year prepares you for the more rigorous projects that you may need to organize at the high school level. It's a great leadership development project, and it showcases that you really care about FBLA. 
You can track your chapter success and maintain active participation throughout the year with various projects and programs that develop the chapter skills. The middle level FBLA experience is a time for you to grow and explore all the opportunities available in FBLA. I know things are drastically different from how they should go, and it seems like things are a crazy mess, but hang in there. Things will definitely get better, and you need to make the most of the time you have right now. So seize the opportunities and reflect. We're all in this together, so support each other, and make sure you keep in touch with everyone around you. Make sure you have a lot of fun. Dare to dream with Georgia FBLA and aspire to inspire those around you. Once again, my name is Therini and thank you so much for joining me for the Middle Level Experience Workshop today. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or follow me on Instagram. And make sure to follow our Georgia FBLA social media accounts for more information on upcoming challenges, deadlines, and opportunities. Thank you, and I hope to connect with you all very soon in person.